Hello everybody. The renowned Canadian pianist Angela Hewitt used to play on a piano that she described as just like another limb. It was worth £155,000 but I think it wasn't so much the monetary value of it that mattered. It was the fact that she'd used it to play all her concerts and all her recordings, all the Beethoven sonatas and six Bach partitas that she'd recently played. And it was her partner in this music making. Well, recently, it was reported last weekend, in fact, um, some specialist piano movers were taking her piano to the next concert and they dropped it and it was smashed beyond repair. I mean, can you imagine how she must have felt this precious instrument that had become what she described as her best friend and uh, it was no longer usable, completely destroyed. I was thinking of this as an image for the way in which God must sometimes see his world. The absolute enormity of the loss that she suffered, the sense of despair and despondency that it had completely smashed. I can imagine God feeling when he looks at the world that he made and sees the way in which we human beings are smashing it up in all sorts of small ways and of course much larger ones too. What Angela Hewitt did about it was that she asked the person who'd made her piano, Paolo Fazioli, uh, to make her another one. And she made altogether, uh, he made altogether five more pianos and uh, asked her to come and choose. And so she did. Uh, this was in, in between the lockdowns. So she was able to fly to Italy and there the five pianos were laid out and she played all of them but only two seemed to be uh, likely contenders and eventually she chose one who incidentally Fazioli had said was the was what he would have chosen and she said it was a wonderful instrument this new instrument it it didn't sound harsh however loud you played it it had a wonderful range and you could you could play it um from from being really gentle to being really loud without any strain on the instrument. Uh, she's just thrilled with it. She'd found a new partner for her creativity, a new piano that would produce the music that she wanted to produce. And what God wants when his world is being smashed up, when we ourselves have participated in, in that, is that we might instead become partners, new partners, people who play the music in the world that he once played, the, the, the people who can produce the tunes and the notes that he wants to be heard in the world so that there can be healing and the world can be made to sound and to be like he would like it to be with the music that he wants it to play. And I think today what I'm going to try and do, as well as feeling some of the sadness that God must feel as he looks at the world around is also to try and be that partner, that person who is responsive to God's music and can reproduce it in the world around me and so contribute to a better world. Of course the analogy doesn't work completely because Angela Hewitt had to choose one of the five. God doesn't choose any one of us particularly. We're all invited to be partners in the recreation of his world. Indeed, we are all invited to be his best friends. <laughs>